Let's go to page 407 and let's start with number 1. Okay, number 1, you want to plot those points. So point 8 is 8, 0 degree. So we start with a 0 degree and go 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so that's point A. Point B is 90 degrees at 5. So 90 degrees and go 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's point B. Point C is 6, 30 degrees. So 30 degrees. Uh, uh, right over here. So each of these is 15 degrees. So 30 degrees up here and then it's 6. So that's point C. Okay, let's go to number 3. Okay, number 3. The first point is negative 8, 0 degrees. Again, so you want to do the degree first. So 0 degrees and the radius negative 8 means you have to go opposite direction. So you have to go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Six, seven, eight. And the next point is ninety degree, neg negative five. So ninety degrees, negative five. So you have to go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, C is thirty degrees, it's negative six. So thirty degrees, negative six. So you have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Let's go to number five. Number 5.8 is negative 30 degrees 5. So negative 30 degrees, you go this way, and it's 5. So it's right over here. That's point A. And, uh, and point B is negative 45 degrees and 4. So right over here, that's B. So, okay. And then negative 90 degrees 9. Negative 90 degrees 9. So if you don't, you not just make a couple more. So C. Okay. okay, let's go to number 7. The point A is negative 30 degrees. So negative 30 degrees. And radius is negative 5, means you have to go opposite direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's point A. Okay. Uh, point B is negative 45 degrees. And radius is negative 4. So that's point B. And point C is negative 90 degrees, and radius is negative 9, so you go back this way, so, it, so right over here. Okay. Okay, let's go to 9. The first the point A is pi over 6, 6. So pi over 6 is 30 degrees, so it's over here, and it's 6, so it's over here. By the way, the circle is a 7, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 6 just go back or 1. Okay, uh, point B is pi over 2. So here's your pi over 2. And radius is 5. So it's, here's your point B. And next one is pi over 4. Pi over 4 is 45 degrees. So it's pi over 4. And it's 8. So it's extend one more. So right over here. So that's point C. Okay. Let's go to number 11. Um, point A is pi over 6, so pi over 6, and it's negative 6, so you have to go opposite direction, right over here. Right, you just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? Okay, number, uh, uh, point B is pi over 2, so it's pi over 2, and it's negative 5, so pi over 2, negative 5, so it'd be right over here. And point C is pi over 4. So pi over 4 is over here. And the uh, radius is negative 8, so you have to go opposite direction 8, right over here. Okay. Okay, let's go to 13. Okay, 13, uh, point 8 is negative pi over 6. So negative pi over 6 is over here, and radius is 6. So that's point A. Point B is negative pi over 2, so it's over here, negative pi over 2, and radius is 5, so it's right over here, so that's point B. And C is negative pi over 4, and radius is 8, so that's, that would be your point C. Okay. okay, let's go to number 15.
So uh, number 15, you have point at 2, negative pi over 2, and you want to convert into rectangular form. So what you do is sketch it out. So negative pi over 2 is over here. So that's that. So by looking at that, so imagine that, so you have to kind of picture, you have to in, superimpose the, 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 um, the two different coordinates. Okay? So this is negative pi over 2, 2. Right? So by looking at that, now convert this into x and the y, you can see that this is going to be at 0, negative 2. Okay? And, and so that, that's it. Okay. Okay, now 17, you have 10 pi over 3. So pi over 3 is up here. And this, so this is pi over 3. And this is 10. So this is your 30, 60 triangle. Okay, so this is going to be a 5, and it'd be a 5 squared of 3, right? Special triangle 30, 60, right? So, so that, therefore, by looking at that, this point is going to be at 5, comma, 5 squared of 3. Okay. Okay, let's go to number 19. Number 19, you have negative uh, 3 squared of 2, comma, 3 pi over 4. Okay, again, you draw that. So 3 pi over 4 is right over here. It's 45, 45 degree triangle. And radius oh, radius is negative, so you have to flip it over to here. So it would be 3 squared of 2. And so this is a 45, 45 triangle, so this would be a 3 and 3, and this would be a negative. So by looking at that, you can see that this point is going to be at 3, comma, negative 3. Okay. So again, 3 pi over 4. And radius is negative, so you have to flip it over to this side. Okay? And so radius, or the hypotenuse, is 3 squared of 2. Therefore, it's a 45-45 triangle, so you get the two sides. And watch, watch the sign, and so that's it. Okay. okay, let's go to number 21. Okay, number 21 is just a reverse. So you have the 0, 6. It's a rectangular, and you want to change to polar. So again, you sketch it out. So 0, 6, right over here. So that's your 0, 6. So this is, rectang uh, this is rectangular. So now, imagine the circles over here. So first, you do the angle. So the angle would be pi over 2. And the, since this is a 6, so radius would be a 6. And so that's it. So you can sketch out. It really makes things a lot easier. So number 23, you got negative 4, 4. Okay, so that's your x and the y, so you got negative 4, 4, right? So negative 4, 4, x and the y. So this would be 4 squared of 2. So by looking at this triangle, uh, looking at this picture, okay? So again, the angle is going to be 135 degrees, but they want you to use radian. So this would be a 3 pi over 4. So that's your theta, 3 pi over 4. And the radius would be 4 squared of 2. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's go to number 25. You have negative square root of 3, negative 3. Okay, so negative square root of 3 and negative uh, square root of 3 is about 1.7, and this would be a negative 3. Okay, so if you don't recognize this, okay, you can use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, but if you notice that this is square root of 3 times that, so that means this is the long leg, this is the short leg. And the hypotenuse will be twice as that, so it'll be 2 squared of 3. Okay. So this will be a 60 degrees. Okay, so now you, you, you convert into, now you have to watch the, you, you got to watch the, the boundary. Okay, it says the boundary, you want to go from negative pi to pi, right? So if you go this way, it's, here's your pi already. So if you go, it's going to be extending that, so you have to go this way. Okay, so it's going to be negative. Uh, 2 pi over 3 and radius will be 2 square root of 3. So again, you have to watch your boundary, so don't go this way, okay? Because when you go this way, it's going to become uh, 4 pi over 3 and it's going to be too much already. Okay.